This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. Hello, freak bitches. Welcome back to HVAC with John Israel. All right, so look, this is going to be a follow-up <clears throat> to the previous video that was uploaded yesterday. H, uh, compressor replacement or compressor change out with a bad ending. I knew this video was going to blow up the comments. I knew it would, which doesn't bother me, but I do want to address a uh, uh, one of the comments and a, a couple of them um, because I wasn't clear on some of the stuff in the uh, that I should have said on camera. I'm going to try not to drag this video out too long, try to keep it as short as I can. I have my second screen over here with the comments pulled up. The main one that I want to address is he writes, thumbs down. Yes, agree. Unit should have been replaced. All seriousness, though, I do not blame the homeowner. Oh, okay. I blame the technician for poor diagnosis. If the tech did a pro, uh, if the did, excuse me, I cannot talk. If the tech did a proper diagnosis from the very beginning and informed the customer that there would be obvious, clear issues, which I did, and we'll get to that in a minute. Then he writes in all capital letters, I guarantee. The homeowner would have changed the unit. Really? You guarantee it. So you guarantee that a man with no money would have changed that unit. You guarantee it, huh? Okay. First of all, you cannot diagnose something that you can't diagnose. What I mean by that is that unit, I went behind somebody else. Now, not recently. I mean, I don't know how long ago the work was done. All of those issues were addressed to him before this repair even attempted to take place. I informed him about the heat strip. I informed, now, the X13 fan motor, the first time I went over there, was running fine. It was running perfect. There was no issues with it. I informed him about the heat strip being messed with. I informed him that he had a used compressor installed. I had no way of knowing the microchannel coil was leaking. Now, let's get to that part, because that's where the comments get interesting. One of the replies to the comment that I just read, though, was, or he broke it. I like that. I like that. The guy thinks that I broke it. Was a recovery, was a recovery done, as it would have shown there was an issue with a leak? I mean, some of these people are just are just fantastic. I mean, did you have to recover refrigerant out of the system before replacing the compressor? Jesus Christ. You know, I know I didn't talk about that in the video, but I mean, it's, it, 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 it's kind of common sense. The answer to that is no, because the common terminal pulled out of the damn compressor. That was the original diagnosis. The, the common wire and terminal pulled out out of the compressor and was laying on the bottom of the unit so for all i you know when i see something like that i'm thinking okay well it blew the common terminal that's where you know that's why there's no charge i had no way of knowing that the micro channel coil was leaking and i had no way to pressure test it this damn terminal was blown let's scroll down to some more it looks like you might have accidentally punctured that leak with how that leak with how the micro channel tube is bent, but nice video. Okay, good comment, but no, I mean, I didn't accidentally puncture the coil. Pretty sure nothing was left. Uh, how much Freon did you recover when you changed the compressor? Again, there was none in it because it blew its common terminal. You know, so I don't know why it blew the common terminal. You know, the, I, again, man, I am working behind somebody else and I did not want to do this job. But I'm starting new in a new city. I mean, right now, money's money. So, anyway, but we'll get to that in a second also. <laughs> I never had one get up and run away if I didn't bolt down the compressor. <laughs> Look, as far as the compressor bolt down, you know, I know that I talked about I didn't have no bolts on me. I didn't know I didn't know that the other compressor didn't have bolts. I, I do. I am aware that I could have went to Home Depot or something and got some half-inch bolts, but I was nowhere near one. I was working with an old piece of shit unit, 
look, guys, I know how to do the proper practices, okay? But on something like that, you know, and I didn't have no bolts on the truck. So you can you can take that as you want. Never try and save the customer money. It will cost you. I agree with that. Here's one. You are married to that unit now. If he were to file a complaint with the contractor board, disciplinary action, a disciplinary action, okay. Uh, I don't know what state you're in, but we don't. they don't do disciplinary in Louisiana. Convert the blower, to, the blower to PSC, add leak sealant and drill, and get your drill and secure that compressor guy. First of all, I told him that we could convert it to a PSC because that would be the cheapest thing possible, which he still doesn't have money for. Second, leak sealant? Really? Leak sealant, dude? And something like that? Come on, man. Like they say on ESPN Monday Night Countdown. Come on, man. Leak seal it. Dude. Hey, John, that's a three and a half ton. 42,000 divided by 12 equals 3.5 ton. Congratulations. You know how to read BTU. No. It's a four-ton machine, but it calls for a 42,000 BTU compressor. The guy that replied to him, the compressors are rated lower in BTUs than the actual tonnage back in the day 25 years ago. A four-ton had a 48,000 BTU or higher. Uh, our higher compressor ran colder coils, but today a four-ton, I have seen compressors at 39,000, at 39,500. Because they want the unit to run longer for D. De- He's exactly right. Okay, so here's another one. This guy just put, pull this video now. <laughs> and listen to this, though. I like the reply. A uh, guy replies, he says, hey, come on, dude. I'm a homeowner, and I value this insight into how it really is for the techs. When you're told to replace equipment, your natural reaction is to think they're being taken for a ride. But this is what can happen. So... You not only have to pay out for the new unit, you've lost what you sunk into the old one. So what are HVAC guys to do? Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm glad to see that there's at least one homeowner out in America with with some sense. So, um, okay, that's about it. So here's the thing. To all these comments, the compressor... I didn't mention the common terminal was blown. I had no way to know that the micro channel was busted. And I'm going to end the video with saying, like I said in the last video, that's why I did a camera shot of myself. I told this guy multiple, multiple times. Don't, don't go with the repair. Buy a package unit. This is the third video that ha- that I've uploaded around this unit. The first video I told, like I said on it, I told the guy multiple times, don't do the repair, buy a package unit. The day I drove out there, when I, when I got to his house, I said, Hey man, you sure you want to do this? Cause I could take this compressor back now, but once I bought, unbox it and weld it, it's over. I don't know if there's any other issues. Sure. You want to do this because I really don't think you should. You need to buy a package unit. No, man, I think it'll be okay. Let's go ahead with the repair. Okay. So that's what I did. So, you know, I really, I did, I I tried my best for that man. I did. When you upload a video like that, the super texts come out. So to this guy with the comment and the other comments I ran, I read, excuse me, hopefully that makes you feel better. But... It, that's what happened, and that's it is what it is. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys on the next video.